Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our belated October Louisville Town Council meeting. Uh, for those of you who were looking to attend last Thursday, you know that we had a little rain delay. I guess we could call it a rain delay for this meeting. But thank you for coming out tonight, uh, one week later. Folks, thank you for watching at home on uh, our Facebook page, also on TV6. And hopefully we're also streaming on louisvillenc.net. This evening, we will start our meeting with our invocation by Bo Houth to be led, our Pledge of Allegiance following that, to be led by Council Member Ed Smith. Please stand if you're able and join us. God, our Father, we give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks that you are the one who is in control of all things. We thank you for the change of seasons. We thank you for blessing us with this little corner of the earth that we call Louisville. We thank you for those who make it run. We thank you for its citizens. We thank you for the staff. We thank you for the elected body. Now, God, as we go through this business meeting, we ask you to be with us, to give us guidance, give us wisdom. And then at the close of the meeting, take us all safely home. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. <coughs> Manager, I'm going to roll call. You ready to go over there? <laughs> <laughs> he had his glasses pulled off. I wanted to be sure he was... Before, okay, you're ready. <laughs> At this time, we do, we, it is also customary for us to introduce our town council, uh, starting from my right. Good evening, I'm Councilman Jeff Singer. Hello, I'm Ed Smith, welcome. Hello, I'm Sandra Mock. I'm Mike Horn. Robert Green. R.C. Gallman. And Fred Franklin. Thank you. Council members, we do have one addition on our agenda since our briefing, and it is item nine under new business, 9G. And it is a resolution accepting a gift. Um, so if you will add that to your agendas, are there any other changes, additions, or deletions? <coughs> no, sir. Motion to approve. Very good. Very good. Mr. Franklin makes the motion. Second. second. Mr. Smith makes the second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. That's our agenda for this evening. Now, Hank. <laughs> this is of four items. First. Resolution 2018062 for the acceptance and approval of monthly financials for August 2018. The approval of council briefing and action minutes from September 6, 2018. Approval of council meeting minutes from September 13, 2018. And finally, Resolution 2018063 accepting the con and confirming the resignation of Rob Lee from the Louisville Utilities Committee. Any questions for the manager? Ms. Orell, I'm sure you would alert us if we had any irregularities in our financial reports. Everything's fine. Very good. A motion to accept the consent okay, agenda. Motion to accept. Second. Mrs. Mott makes the motion. Mr. Zinger makes the second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you very much. We have no introductions, pr presentations, or proclamations this evening. We're now at the first of two opportunities <clears throat> for folks to address the council, should they wish. Um, this is our public forum, so if anybody would like to speak to the council on anything that, that uh, is in your hearts, in your minds, this is the time to do it. Please come up, yes, state your name and your address. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody wish to speak? Maybe almost mandatory for a Boy Scout here who's getting his communications badge to come up and maybe make a speech later on at our last public forum. So pay attention, right? Okay. <laughs> Very, good. Very good. With that, we'll move on from the public hearings. We have no evidentiary hearings. We have no unfinished business. Hank, our comprehensive financial management policy, please. Okay. Uh, this was brief last week, or I'm sorry, two weeks ago at our town, <coughs> at our Louisville Town Council briefing. Um, the draft that we have got before you this evening is co complete with the edit suggested at, th at that briefing two weeks ago, and it is a. Um, Gosh, I guess it's an 11-page document. What it does is it sort of consolidates a lot of the financial practices that the town has been engaged in for, for I guess, many years um, and kind of consolidates it into a policy. 
that lists out everything. Um, it also treats our fund balance, reserves, what happens when reserves reach certain levels, what happens when they fall below those levels, how we treat those uh, fund balance reserves and how they're used. It's a policy that as developed for the town creates a, um, I guess a knowledge base in the document that allows for changing of council to happen and new council members to come on and uh, be briefed on what the practices are for the town of Louisville and helps everybody get caught up to speed and get educated pretty quickly. Um, that's it right now. We have the draft here before us. We will, uh, if get council direction, we will have this available on the town's website for people to be able to go to and uh, peruse themselves. And should they want copies, we'll have hard copies that we can copy for them at town hall. That's correct, yes. Very good. Mr. Franklin, I believe you had some comments at briefing that you would like to make. Yeah, uh, I've, I've fortunately have been involved with uh, council activities, I guess, since 1995. And it participated in uh, working with 14 budget cycles, if you will, over the years. And one of the things I said at our briefing meeting, this document is the best document I have ever seen come out from our town staff through the years to consolidate things that, not by happenstance or not by luck, but things that we have been able to put into place since the early 90s, and the, again, our town was incorporated in 1991, and we've been building since then. Um, this document, I encourage citizens to pick up a copy of it. Understand how the philosophy is, if you will, of trying to budget the taxpayers' dollars in the town of Louisville and provide the services that we have been able to provide, uh, the activities uh, on our town square and things of that nature as we have been able to do through the years. Um, one of the things I did say at the briefing meeting is that this document, when we have a new council member um, get elected in the future, somebody that's never had any exposure in the past or whatever, this ought to be the first thing that the town manager puts in their hands and says, you need to read this and that will help bring you up to speed. So I encourage the citizens to pick up a copy of this, to look on our website when it gets posted. Um, we're going to approve this, I guess, at our uh, November meeting as, as time goes on, but it would still be good to get feedback from the public. Um, things are, uh, I think, fairly well set in stone, but still things we'd love to have input, I believe. Thank you, Mayor. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Franklin. Ms. Orell, I believe this is your handiwork, most of it. Well, congratulations, and you provided me a good segue to go through and introduce the town staff, which I neglected to do a little while ago. <laughs> and my council members didn't nudge me like they generally do. We have with us, of course, our finance director, Pam Orell. We have our town clerk, Joyce Walker. We have our communications specialist, Jeannie Taylor. We have our town attorney, Bo Hauf, and of course, our town manager, Hank Perkins. Excuse me, Mayor. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, but I missed the very first part because Jeannie and I were trying to figure out what happened to the uh, the picture behind you. So if you will look at your screens, can you see what I put up? Mm -hmm. see, we don't know what happened. We got some message up there and everything just went away. It's probably the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, the touch of Joyce. <laughs> could you tell me who approved the agenda, please? I believe it was... Um, <laughs> I believe it was Mr. I made the motion. Franklin, I, I thought I heard Jeff. Mr. Smith made the second. Fred yeah, Ned. thank you. But so he acknowledged Fred Smith. Ned. Fred Ned. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I, I have nothing to put up in front of you right now. Please stay away from the machinery. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Ms. Walker. <laughs> <laughs> a uh, request from the Louisville Historical Society for a approval of an amended site plan. Yes, sir. Mr. Half is going to handle that this evening. Thank you. I was really hoping that we would have that site plan on the on the screen, but it was presented to you uh, last week at briefing. Um, I am not a planner, but tonight I'm playing one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just to uh, kind of go briefly again through this, and again, it was uh, reviewed last week. Um, this is longstanding uh, uh, 
situation. We've had the, the, the honor of having the Louisville Historical Society having moved the house, the Nissen house, down to its current location and, and have engaged in more work than I think almost any of us can appreciate. And um, they come, uh, have brought forward a request for um, a minor site plan or an amendment of their site plan. Um, and it consists primarily of five things, and you'll see that in the ordinance there, the <coughs> listing of the five elements of the changes in the site plan. I guess you won't see it unless you have a hard copy there in front of you. But the first of those is to designate 11 parking spaces. We had an easement that allowed for 11 parking spaces. This designates them specifically as to which of those spaces they are with asterisks in the spaces that, are, that appear on the site plan. Um, and then, um, let's see, second, there's a curb cut uh, onto Lucy Lane, to or from Lucy Lane, that's been added. Uh, third, there's a handicap parking space that's accessible from that curb cut on, off of Lucy Lane, uh, uh, adjacent to the uh, Nissen House itself. Uh, fourth, there is a walkway that has been added uh, that comes in by, uh, from um, the, uh, the 11 parking spaces um, into the back entrance of the, uh, of the Nissen House. And then uh, there is a removal of a previous uh, buffer yard easement um, and, and request to waive that buffer yard easement. My understanding is from uh, the prior presentation is that all of these changes meet uh, and are compliant with our uh, uniform development uh, ordinances and, um, and uh, there's a request that that um, ordinance amending the site plan be approved. Thank you, Bo. Any questions for Bo? Well, I entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Smith makes a motion. Mr. Zinger makes the second. Any further <clears throat> discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Thank you. That's unanimous. Mary and Susan, off you go. <laughs> you, got, you got an approved site plan. Thank you very much for all the work you all are doing. <laughs> Pam, you have a budget amendment for us. We have Ordinance 2018054, Amending Budget Ordinance 2018001, in the amount of $1,919 to replace an in-car radar that was destroyed in a patrol car fire last fiscal year. Any questions for Ms. Orell? Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Franklin makes a motion. Mr. Zinger makes the second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. That is unanimous. Uh, George is not here. Hank, are you handling the I've payment contract? I've got it contract? this evening, yes. Okay. Uh, we have Resolution 2018064, awarding a contract to Yadkin Valley, Yadkin Valley Paving, incorporated of 120, 121 Cloverdale Drive in Winston-Salem for an amount not to exceed $217,261.47 to resurface uh, Spring Farm Court, Spring Meadow Court, Saddlebrook Drive, Saddlebrook Circle and Brook Farm Trail. Uh, this, this this is in keeping with we have a spring paving season and this is our fall paving. Yes, season. sir, that's I correct. Mean, There'll be a spring paving as well. Yeah, the second of our yearly contracts, if you will. Questions for the manager. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Franklin makes the motion. Mr. Zinger makes the second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. That is unanimous. Hank, we have a budget ordinance for tree replacement on Shallowford Road. Yes, sir. We have ordinance 2018057, amending budget ordinance 2018001, in an amount of $5,335. This is for uh, tree replacement on Shallowford Road. This was discussed la two weeks ago at our briefing, and there was a project that was taken on by the Louisville Beautification Committee. This is primarily to replace the trees that have been um, pruned back from the power lines through activities from Duke Energy. They have come up and we, uh, we showed that, that plan lat two weeks ago at briefing. We have a variety of trees that are gonna be very, trees and shrubs that are, I guess, designed to not impact the power lines in the future, thereby not being required to be pruned back by Duke Energy in the future as well. Any questions for the manager? Yes. Is, does this finish us up? I mean, we've been doing this project over a period of time. 
biting off chunks about like this increment each time. I think they're, they're, they're are we getting close to the end of this? One? Yes, we're getting very close. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Singer makes a motion. Mr. Smith makes the second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. That is unanimous. Joyce, yes. we have a school that we want to propose a name for. Yes. Um, we have resolution 2018065 confirming the facility name submission to the Winston-Salem Forsyth County Board of Education in naming the new middle school uh, that's going to be constructed at Robin Hood Road. And our submission is Louisville Vienna Middle School without a hyphen. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Council members, we did discuss this at briefing, and I think we all had a very good discussion. There was some solid rationale for wanting us to name it Louisville Viana, since both of those elementary schools will feed into this middle school. Um, any questions for Joyce? Motion. Very good. We'll entertain a motion. Motion. Second. Mr. Smith makes this motion. Mr. Smith makes the motion. <laughs> Mr. Franklin makes the second. Any further discussion? Very good. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? That's unanimous. Folks, if you're watching at home or watching on Facebook, um, if you will please, the, while the school system is accepting naming suggestions, we have submitted ours on behalf through this resolution, but they still need to hear from you. So if you are, uh, if you will go to our Facebook page, there'll be a post about the new middle school asking you to submit our name, Louisville Viana Middle School, there's a link to the school board site where you can click on it. It will take you right to the page where you do your name submission. If you will do that, I think if the school board hears from all of the folks out here that care about this uh, name, I think they'll probably respond very positively. So on Town's Facebook page, there's a post there about Robin Hood Middle School, the naming of it, and go to that link and you can uh, participate in naming and, and suggesting a name for our school. Thank you very much. Okay. Hank, we're down to the long-awaited announcement that uh, we're all excited about. Yes, we have resolution 2018067, accepting a gift of property on Louisville Viana Road from William T. Um, and Diane J. and Janet Hancock Moser. This is uh, two parcels along Louisville Viana, just under 12 acres in total. One property is... Um, just over seven acres, and the second is 4.4 <clears throat> acres. The, uh, the Mosers are, are doing a, a good thing to the town by gifting us this piece of property. It is pretty amazing. It um, is. For those of you that follow Louisville history, and I know all, all of us sitting up here do, um, we have had a number of very generous gifts. The first one and most recent one, our recent one before this, was Mr. Fred Mosier who uh, made a gift to the town of his property on Chaliford Road. The uh, generous donation before that was Mary Alice Warren in the name of her husband, Jack Warren, and that's where we have Jack Warren Park. Uh, the Mosiers, I think, are really reflecting the generosity and the kindness and the concern for community uh, and for the residents of Louisville by making this immensely generous gift, and we will recognize them at a future meeting uh, appropriately. <coughs> but tonight, um, Hank, do we have to accept this resolution? Yes, this resolution is ahead of the uh, transfer of the property. Very good. Council members, any discussion? I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Smith makes the motion. Mr. Zinger makes the second. Any additional comments? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. And thank you, Mosiers, for your generosity. Upcoming events, Hank. Before you jump in, Jeannie, we have a message on Facebook that there is no sound. Yeah. We got sound back? Very good. Thank you. <laughs> See, it wasn't all me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you go in the back room. <laughs> okay, in October, it, I guess those who were here last week for it, and uh, it would have been an, uh, announced last week, the 13th, which was last Saturday, we did have the, uh, the blue, second annual Bluegrass Festival at Shallowford Square. The 20th, which is this Saturday, we will have Shalloween. And that brings us to all of the, uh, the um, events at Shallowford Square. Very good. Although, um, 
Shalloween. What time is that event? I'm sorry. One o'clock. I believe it starts at one o'clock. One o'clock. Mm -hmm. One to two thirty. Very good. So put on your costumes and show up for candy. <laughs> our uh, report on our briefing session, Hank, please. Ladies and gentlemen, what we do is we, we do undertake some actions at our briefing, and that occurs the first Thursday of every month when the council members are fully briefed on the items that are going to come before yep. us at our regular meeting. Yep. Sometimes we take action and sometimes we don't. Yes, that, there was no action at the briefing. And there was no action, so that's the report. There was no action at our briefing. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, it was a long briefing meeting. It was a two-and-a-half-hour briefing, so it, uh, we did prepare for this one extensively. Hank, your report? I have no report this evening. No report. Very good. This is the second time this evening for anyone in the audience who wishes to stand up, i.e., Boy Scout working on his communications merit badge. Should they wish to come up and address the council, share with us your thoughts, your reflections of this meeting? Um, you're good? Okay. <laughs> Very good. Anybody else wish to speak? Okay. With, not, with that, we'll move on to council comments. Got a question, and this maybe since we haven't been able to get together since the storm, um, uh, I noticed that like down going toward Hank's house on on Shallowford Road, there's a lot of debris right on the side of the road. Uh, haven't traveled to other areas, but I understand Bo had a you know debris in his neighborhood. Um, what's in the works to try to get things cleaned back up. Uh, DOT, FEMA, uh, can you sort of give us an overview of what maybe it's, it's my impression that the, uh, the, 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 inter the debris that you see on Shallowford Road is left over from Windstream and um, Duke Energy. And it's in, it does have cones around it, so I'm assuming that they're going to get back and clean that up. Okay. I, I just, you know, I know, I know we're not, we still got a lot of cleanup to do in town, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And, and as, as it time lingers on, people are going to start wondering what's happening, and that's the reason I brought the question up. So if we can keep through our website and Facebook, keep people informed as to what might be going on, that would be great. Yes, sir. I mean, Very good. Thank you, Mr. Franklin. Any other comments? Council members? Well, I believe I'd like to recognize three council members who remembered to wear pink this evening. And the, uh, the rest of us uh, either chose not to because we don't look good in pink or we don't own anything in pink, <laughs> but in recognition of October being National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, uh, thank you for your show of support for um, both men and women, actually, in our community uh, who are afflicted by this disease. We'd also like to recognize Grandpa Ed Smith, who is now <laughs> the proud grandfather of a new nine-and-a-half-pound boy, Lincoln, uh, this weekend or this last Friday last Friday night week week tomorrow. Congratulations. He's already suited up <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put him in Saturday Congratulations Ed. I know I we appreciate it. our best wishes for, to you and Marg I know you you, you folks really enjoy being grandparents and yeah. uh, it's a blessed event in your lives and, and we share that joy Thank you any other questions, comments this evening? If not, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Mr. Singer makes the motion. Mr. Smith makes the second. We've been heavy on down there tonight for motions and seconds. We've so got that's, things that's to do. Months. Think about getting things done, man. For yeah. months. <laughs> i got to go see Lincoln. <laughs> Any further discussion? There. It's quick. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're adjourned. Thank you for watching at home. Thank you for being here. Um, and uh, thank you, folks, for watching on TV6.